Okay, guys, this is, <laughs> this was quite a chore, and uh, you're going to be seeing a little bit of a mess because we're in the process of doing things. But what you see here is a huge shelf. Um, right here is the midpoint because that's actually two shelves stacked on each other. I had this one on the bottom, had record players on top and a few things. And out of nowhere, I just went ahead and got this. And this ended up being about a three or four hour chore, not counting putting, putting it together. That was no big deal. Uh, but I didn't realize I had so much to organize because I tried to get a lot of the hardbacks on here and other things. So I'm going to kind of show you what we have there. But anyway, we had to go through this shelf here and pull some stuff out. I've already filled a lot of these gaps back up in here with actual books, but we took a lot from there. And, well, we, man, it's, I want to let you know it's late at night here and stuff, but, uh, Right in here, there's the stuff piled up there, but I went through these shelves. I'm able to get my paperbacks out now. And down here, um, these are the record players in question. There's actually two there, speakers, record player. And there's another record player there, but it's all black. So we'll just go kind of, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you uh, what's in these uh, cubes so we can actually see here, all right? See if we stay in focus here. So what we have here is Douglas Adams, the Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide. Douglas Adams, The Complete Novels of Dirk Gently, my Michael Moorcock, uh, Eric Saga, um, one, two, three, you know, there's five volumes there, four, one, two, three, four volumes there, a fifth novel that's actually in one of those volumes. I went ahead and, um, those are, those are first prints, so I went ahead and got on, I was able to get on Amazon and order some archive uh, covers to put on the dust covers, if you will, to wrap around there for the getting more damage where I've moved so much. Over here, uh, just a few indie things. We have Erie Presents Hunter, which is fantastic. Charleston 66 had this and turned me on to them. Of course, it's going to glare. But these were printed in Erie Magazine of this guy. We're not going to pull too many books out because... Do you see that? We can see my Miracle Man poster a lot better now. But anyway, the Lock and Key Hardbacks. This is a Crow Special Edition that I've shown in a video before. My original Crow. Um, Death Lives. Judge Death Collected Edition, which I find, think is fantastic. Do Android Dream of Electric Sheep Volume 5. I've got assorted issues around here. A bunch of Valiant comics from back in the day. And something I'm very proud of. But uh, this is the collected edition of Elric. Of, from, uh, by Roy Thomas and I think Craig, Craig Russell. No, Michael T. Gilbert and P. Craig Russell did that. Okay, over here, let's move the Thor thing. Uh, this is a lot of uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs and Philip Jose Farmer novels. Uh, a bunch of uh, collected editions of uh, Tarzan. The complete novels. And here was one with a uh, Roger Corman cover of uh, John Carter of Mars, which I just had to have. Land Before Time. And then uh, just a lot of uh, River World and the World of Tears, uh, Philip Jose Farmer collections and stuff. Uh, down here, some uh, Marvel stuff, the best that I can show. Like I said, it's late at night, but these, uh, these are a lot of epic collections. Um, what have I got in here? What is this? Oh, yeah. I also have a hardback I've yet to open of Marvel Select of uh, of uh, Galactus Stories. Let's leave that kind of there. A lot of horror stuff, if you will. Some Star Wars, Super Villain Team Up, Fantastic Four of the End, Nick Fury, Incredible Hulk. Two uh, of the first graphic novels they made in the 80s. And we'll go on over here. This is the Star Man, Star Man and the DC Archive stuff that I had. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that almost all of this stuff um, at least from this shelf and a few more are all from Ollie's over the last three or four years. So these were all like anywhere from 75 to 95% off. I pay in books a million sales and stuff, but, uh, Starman Omnibus collections, uh, hardback, Teen Titans, Commandy, Teen, you know, a lot of stuff, a little figure there. And then here's some Omnibuy that I have here. Uh, Commandy by Jack Kirby, The Sandman by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby, Deadpool, X-Men, Days of Future Past, and other stories. Um, a lot of people worked on that one. Claremont, Davis, Simonson, Moore, other people. You know, they have quite a few stories in there. 
Guardians of the Galaxy solo classics and the entire just, just imagine Stan Lee working at creating the DC universe. We come down and it's a lot of uh, a lot of Green Lantern hardbacks, Justice Society, Justice League, one shots. Uh, a Grant Morrison, Frank Quatley, JLA hardback Earth 2 that I've carried around for over 20 years. Manhunter, some hardback bone, American Splendor stuff. Um, and then in here I try to get down here and work with this. Alright, it's going to be some bit of a glare here. But I try to keep some Alan Moore stuff going here. Uh, it's a lot of his League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Um, his collected Nemo trilogy with the daughter of uh, Nemo. Killing Joke. Uh, some Miracle Man collections. Some 2000 AD collections that Alan Moore did in the 80s. Maybe before he came to America. 49ers. Swamp Thing. And, uh, sorry about the glare, but yeah, Wonder Woman, War of the Gods collection, Infinity Gauntlet, Christ on Infinite Earth, X-Men, The Morlock Massacre. And come over here, we're going to move the Hulk again. It's a lot of, uh, Batman and DC stuff. Two volumes of, uh, the complete Neil Adams. The best of, uh, J.H. Williams the third on Batman, Batman Rest in Peace, the complete Frank Miller that I've had since I was, you know, since, uh, you know, 1988, 89, whenever that came out. Batman Planetary Deluxe, one of the greatest Batman tales that just kind of cracks me up. Um, then we have the uh, Steve Rude, Dave Gibbons, World's Finest, Batman and Judge Dredd trilogy, Complete Night Force, Teen Titans, a celebration of 50 years at the time. Uh, the uh, This is one of my favorite stories since by James Robinson, The Golden Age. I don't know how many of the uh, original issues I have. I always pick them up, and I was glad to get it hardback. Ken and Lot 3000, a little bit of Silver Age Suicide Squad. Oh. We're all on the floor together. Just a Pilgrim that's signed by Garth Ennis. Uh, Battle Angel Alita uh, that I got on sale. Um, three of the hardback uh, Jim Starlin Thanos stories. Um you know, I thought I might as well just finish them out. I'm not sure how many there are, but uh, they're they're actually pretty good. Um, two volumes of the Thunder Agents put out by DC, collected editions, the archives, the Doctor Star, which is a tribute to Starman uh, James Robinson. What do we got here? Viking Prince, just a beautifully painted uh, little known graphic novel. Uh, is it gonna give me some light? <laughs> but, okay and then uh some uh, marvel collected editions which are fantastic i wish i never got sold to weapon x but uh this is the hulk heart of the atom these are all the jorella stories you can look up who jorella is um a little liberty legion collection of the thing from the 70s soft cover of weapon x by barry winsler smith that was in marvel comics presents um i had the hardback of this that was in the same uh, style of th as these, uh, format as those, but uh, I ended up selling it, and you know, uh, Marvel Zombies Supreme, which this cracks, there's an inside joke with my buddies, one of my buddies and I, Marvel Zombies by Robert Kirkman, hardback, uh, I got some space there, Justice League Gods and Monsters, these were one shots that tied in with a straight to DVD uh, tune that they did, which I thought was really fantastic. A little twist on everybody. Um, I don't know how many versions of this I have, but this is the uh, adaptation of Return of the Jedi that they did in the 80s. It was originally a one sh It was in a Marvel Super Special, I think, with uh, Marvel Comics, and then they split that up into a four issue um, series. And I still have those. And then Dark Horse came out with this hardback, what well, Marvel did, came out with a hardback uh, version of it where they recolored it. Um, Encyclopedia of Superman, just because I had nowhere else to go with that. Um, here's my Ramones box set, complete with a comic book inside. Just, you know, weird tales of the Ramones. I hate that. I love that. 85 of their songs remastered. Red Rocket 7, a fantastic Mike Allred rock and roll story. A uh, little action figure guide. My Pogo collections. These are first volumes. I think one is actually from the 50s. I don't think they're worth anything. Real, I, I enjoyed it when I was a kid, but now that I'm 
understand politics a bit more. Here's my Dungeons and Dragons Endless Quest book where you, uh, it's like a choose your own adventure, but you have to keep a character sheet and roll a die. Choose your own adventure, Supergirl. Choose your own adventure, Batman. Choose your own adventure, House Adventure, House of Danger. Um, oh, what are these? Fighting Fantasy Game Books. Yeah, they're fantastic. Those are fun. Seems like I had more of those than I do. And this is out of place. But anyway, here's uh, Gone. Some manga for you, which I think is some fantastic manga, to tell you the truth. That's out of place. Citadel of Chaos. A fighting fantasy game book in which you play. Fighting Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Doctor Strange pocketbook from the 70s. Fantastic stuff. Trigoon. Trigoon? Yeah, I love that. All right. And, uh, yeah, that's out of place. Big Lords of Legion Superheroes. More gone. Um, Storybook of Dark Crystal. Masters of the Universe. Tila's Secret. Um, one of my favorite books as a kid. The Book of Giant Stories. And then we come on over here and we got some more hardbacks. Good Omens. That's a first edition that I, that book came out by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Um, of course they, Amazon made a little mini series out of it on their show, but I spent my junior year reading that book twice during the summer. Piers Anthony, Piers Anthony. I have this entire collection of Piers Anthony books. Um, there's a theme to them, uh, in soft cover also on a pill horse was, a, uh, who was it? Innovation Comics uh, did an adaptation of this one. Uh, my Kurt Vonnegut book, uh, Breakfast of Champions. I'm missing three or four, but you know they probably were. You know, somebody Kurt Vonnegut gets stolen even in bookstores and stuff. At least he did. Narnia Chronicles, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, uh, some kind of annotation, the companion to the Tolkien stuff. Uh, a two Reign of Two Towers. I have some other collectibles of those, but who knows. Down here, I have the Pulp Fiction uh, script. Um, movie books for Sin City. The Spirit. Uh, the, my Ramones biography. Planet of the Apes. Uh, Tops cards. Wrinkle in Time. Favorite books in sixth grade. A Doctor Who. The Key to Time. A little bit of a... Uh, if you're, a, if you're an old school Doctor Who fan, you should have that. And if you're a fan of the 80s, you really need to get this by Tom Skill, the American Barbarian. It's like Saturday morning cartoons like He-Man and Black Star and stuff in that tune. Um, I think this is a first edition. I also have a soft cover of, uh, of the uh, novelization of Star Wars that I think came out before the movie. Last Son of Krypton and uh, Kingdom Come. And if you're an Alex Ross fan... Uh, there's some new sketches and stuff in there. Uh, this one's pretty simple. A bunch of comic uh, overstreet guys from over the years. Uh, a bunch of short stories of um, Elric are in this one by different authors. Authors. This is my reader copy of the first volume. And I'm starting on Sailors of the Seas of Fate again. I think, that, Or am I on the Weird of the White Wolf? Anyway, I think I'm on the third book again. Um... Yeah, what we got here? Yeah, here we go. Vampire book. This is uh, the vampire book. This is a fantastic book. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not anything fancy, but uh, it sort of is an encyclopedia of vampire movies. Uh, my super, and then your field guide to monsters on how to survive any monster you come across from the movies. What we got here? Sandman, my companion. This is fantastic. Annotations and whatnot of Neil Gaiman's books. What would Skeletor do? My Twilight Zone Companion, breakdown of every episode with trivia. My Supernatural books, John Winchester's Journal, and The Monster's Guide. Um, a whole bunch of, uh, if you're in the Mouse Guard, I have a ton of these. Some of these may be signed. Of, uh, these are free comic book day hardbacks of uh, Mouse Guard stories. Um, here's my mouse, one of my Mouse Guard books. A hardback of the first Mouse Guard story. I have a sketch in there from um, David Peterson and just a bunch of David Peterson stuff. I'll get, there's the first, very first uh, Mouse Guard signed by Dave Peterson. All these are probably signed by Dave Peterson. And then down here, 
just to be real quick because the lights are not going to hold out. This is a, a bunch of my Far Side books, Calvin and Hobb books, and Berkeley Breathed books of. Um, oh, where's? Let me find one. Yeah, where the wild things are. Uncle Scrooge. Just uh, yeah, Opus. I wish for wings that would work. Great stuff. Down here is uh, some soft covers <clears throat> that I went ahead and uh, put in there. There's said uh, first edition of Star Wars novelization. Um, a whole bunch of Doc Savage books. Uh, Planet of the Apes, finally, the original book. Silver Surfer. I think I have a first, this is a first edition of Interview with the Vampire, I believe. Uh, Pinup Girl art over the years, 40s and 50s and 30s and whatever. Um, yeah, just some good stuff. King Kong adaptation of the movie. Superman, Last Son of Christ, script on by Elliot S. Megan. Um, seems like I had some first edition. There they are. And then here's some uh, collectible Flash Gordon novelizations of Alex Raymond's work. And then this is just odds and ends right now. Nothing really to show too much. Um, old color in the books. Um, Record books with the records from the 70s. Oh, back to the future storybook. Some uh, journals and uh, whatnot. I'm really kind of working on that one. So anyway, there's my shelf, man. My brand new shelf. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other.